Carrie Fisher. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Christelle Martinet here. And before we start, I would like to set the scene with my steel tongue drum. Ready? Okay, now let's start. Um, Carrie Fisher, we know her from Get Back to the Future, I guess. Um, I, I'm not that uh, learned on Carrie Fisher. This was a suggestion from a subscriber, and I'll take the questions as I see fit. So, I mean, it is my channel, and I sort of do what I want. <laughs> I would have been accused of being paid by who knows what not to answer certain questions. This is my channel, and I'm trying to go through questions that I feel suitable. Um, I will sidestep some and try to get everyone's question questions out. Let's see. Um, let's see. Good Food Life. Hi, Carrie. I have read a book called Laws of Spirit World, where two spirit say that there is a spirit world which has seven realms. Is that true? And which, which realm are you in? Yes, I am in a realm, but no, there are not seven. There are an infinite number of realms. I understand that this is a very difficult concept. I have to stop a moment. I'm hearing an echo. Please let me know if I think it's the drum. Let me move the drum. Please let me know if there is an echo. No, this was okay. Okay. Let me, sorry about that. I'm in a realm that goes far, far beyond the seventh realm. You use numbers, we use energy. And many people think about a hierarchy, a sort of hierarchy, and there truly is none. But we spirits will respond to your questions in those terms if you wish. Of course, there are masters, archangels, and these seem to be a hierarchy. It, there is no university of souls. There are souls and spirits that have certain roles to play. Okay, that's, that's, let me shut my... Okay. Shut the. Okay, let's see. Um, uh, Priya, thanks for your wonderful contribution. Would you like to choose act acting in your left next life? Yes and no. Many people think that there is glamour in a job where you are projected on a screen or in a movie or on TV, small or large screens. But you have to understand that the higher the prize, and many people have the higher prize in mind, the greater Com competition there is and life in those industries is very competitive. I too had a lot of competition and I was very lucky because I was at the right place at the right time 
for things like Star Wars, for example, which helped me tremendously. But that was not completely who I was. I, did, I don't think she answered. I don't think... Yes, uh, yeah, she said yes and no. Um, Kiwi lover. Hello, Carrie. Can you tell us, is Biden going to stay in office or is Trump going to be pulled back uh, due to uh, proven fraudulent voting? No, he will not return. Although his voice will be heard over and over again. There has been no fraudulent anything in this election. And I understand many of you may side with Trump, who did not win the elections, but the answer very simply is that he will not return. Neither this presidency following the new president's presidency, nor in a future presidency. And I want to say that Biden will not finish his presidency. He will be substituted at one point by his vice president. President. Hmm. Ask for a question, you get two. Um, robotics, no, what is it? Riolec, Riolec supplies. As a soul, which country do you see is the best for sp spirituality and culture? Please let me have the particular country. Which country is the hot spot for greatest energy? No. There is no one country because countries are political and sometimes geographic separations. But spirituality has no boundaries. There are places where the energy is high vibrational like in the United States, Sedona. But in the Himalayan mountains, there are many, many places. There are many places in all countries. I can safely say to you that every country in the world has at least one area, if not many, many more, where the vibrational state of the environment is highly conducive to raising your spiritual awareness and your own vibrational state. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see, um, our tracker. Hi, Carrie. Who greeted you when you crossed over? And what, and, and are you with your mother, Debbie Reynolds? Yes, I am because she passed before me. But it is not as if we gather in the form of a family. No. I was simply greeted, and please don't laugh. It was as if I was pushed into a group that you might see in, in a party, in a place where celebration occurs. So many souls moving, shadowing, 
one soul following another. And it is very liberating, I truly have to say. And I do not recognize Demi, Debbie Reynolds as a soul that was my mother, clearly, after I pass. We lose our memory in that sense. What we bring with us is our vibrational state in relation to our actions on earth and our previous lives. Okay. Oh, she was a comedian, I believe. I, I, I vaguely remember see, hear, seeing that. Um, okay. Um, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Dimpy Jill. Dimpy Jill. Jill. Uh, Namaste. Please ask why and who started the cycle of life and death. It was no one person or entity. I am always, like other spirits, will always tell you, it is energy that produces what you experience on earth. On this planet, there were a group of souls who engineered the human experience. And from time to time, they return to earth to change people's consciousness. And in this way, change their philosophy and ways of thinking. Man and woman were created in many different stories that you read. A man and a woman, their bodies are conducive to reproducing the human species. But please remember, that has completely changed today. A woman does not have to necessarily have sexual relations with a man in order to conceive. And a man does not have to have sexual relations with a woman in order for him to have a child. This is one way of engineering life on earth. As I mentioned engineering consciousness, this too has taken and has a role today. If I spoke to you in 200 years, there would be be different answers because the experiences you would be having on earth would be so different. Remember that change and evolution are part of nature. One more thing I want to say about reproduction. Think of different countries that offer incentives to reproduce and have children. I'm sure many of you know in countries like China or even in Europe, Germany, there are subsidies, subsidi subsidies, for this, in China, male offspring are subsidized. 
In Germany, all children receive much subsidies, a lot of help and support from the government. Why I say this is because reproduction is a social phenomenon today as well as an economic phenomenon. Okay. That was a long, I guess. I can't, I I can't, um, I don't remember what is said. That's why I always go back. Um, Thank you, Pallavi Ananda. The the sound is good. Good. Um, Let's see. 92 Balthazar. What advice would you give others still on earth who struggle with bipolarity, I think? Your writing continues to help us so much. I swear to you that mental diseases are not only mental diseases. I venture to say that 90% of mental imbalances have to do with energy imbalances and negative energy attachments to people. Having said that, of course, there are mental diseases. So my suggestion would be first to check the balance of energy in all different ways. Mental, physical, emotional energy in different systems of the body, different organs of the body, chakras, and aura so that you can at least have a basis of balance. Then, of course, follow medical advice and find a proper treatment that would suit you. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. Um, Shwita, is that the right? Right, Shwita. Mugil. How does rebirth work? Do souls choose their own mothers? How does rebirth basically work? A soul reincarnates into a situation and family that resonates with the soul's vibrational energy rate. And it is based on past life experiences and the spiritual work that was done in that life. It is often the case that souls continue to reincarnate in families, environments that are similar from one life to the next. For example, with economic hardships or medical medical disabilities, or wealthy environments, aristocratic as well. It all is based on your vibrational rate at the time of passing. Also, your passing is decided in part by your soul when it decides it has 
concluded the experience it set out for itself. And at the same time, there is a, an agreement between your soul and the universe and other bodies, entities, spirits that call upon your soul to come forth and change its role or its work with other spirits. It's very different from one soul to the next. And all I can say is that the more you are able to tap into divine source, the greater you can experience what your soul was meant to experience. Of course, this opens a can of worms, I'm sure. Um, all right, let's see. Palavyananda asks, did you meet Chester Bennington? What was the reason for his death? Was it murder? If so, who planned it? Yes, I did meet him. He was not murdered. No. His death, although always seeming untimely, is a death due to his soul desiring to move on because his soul had accomplished its lesson or its mission on earth. I'm going to go look up Chester Bennington after. Um, All right. Um, let's see what this is. Anghad, do humans always re, uh, re, re, are humans always reborn as humans? Yes and no. Human souls can also be reincarnated into a an animal. It's less common, but it happens. And it happens for a reason that is clearly outlined by the soul in the life they lead and the life they leave. For example, a person may be a soul lover. an animal lover, and they lost a pet, and they do service volunteering to care for other pets, taking them in their home. When they are satisfied, they decide to pass on. It is then that they may reincarnate into an animal, but it is much rarer. Uh, let's see. Um, um, let's see. Um, does the law of attraction really work? Does the universe help us in manifesting our thoughts? Do souls really contact us through angel numbers? The law of attraction does work, yes. It is all part of vibration, energetic vibration. The words law of attraction is exactly that. 
and means exactly that. The more you bring your soul to vibrate at a level that's conducive to attract what you desire and what is best for you, it does work. But often people believe that it doesn't because they ask for things, for actions or objects that will not benefit them as a divine soul. And this does not come. The universe does help you manifest what you can use for your divine purpose on this earth. Okay, um, dear one, do you know you have an Egyptian look alike, an Egyptian look alike actress named Lalia Hamada? What's your view of that look alike? Is she an aspect of yours or anything? No, it is a resemblance. That's all. I have been told when I was alive that I look like many different people. I think people look at some of your features and equate those features to another person's features. In my case, it was always my smile that made people say I looked like someone they knew. Hmm. Okay, Sharma. Um, is it better to listen to your heart over brain and why? Yes and no, you surely understand that they are linked and it is impossible to listen to one and not the other. There are no actions, thoughts, movements or intentions that are carried out unless your mind is involved. When you say, act with the heart, what you mean, perhaps, is to feel, use your intuition, use your senses, feelings, and these two are dictated by the mind. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, Super Queen, does, let me just a second. Does black magic really exist in this universe? <laughs> hell, hell yes. I'm sorry. It's one way, but hell yes, yes, hell is yes, yes. Very soon, you will get your answer. I need to tell you about the experience of mass illness in the world today. There is the idea that it was created in a laboratory. And from a human's point of view, it is very difficult to see the human element from the divine element or from the animal environment 
to understand exactly where a virus comes from. First of all, viruses are present in our body constantly and they are negative entities and energy. I don't mean this. I mean that the coronavirus was indeed created in a laboratory meant to offset another country. And it was a political game for power that backfired, however. We will never understand or the truth will not emerge in this sense. But believe me when I say that you, all of us, are full of viruses when negative energy takes over parts of our body. Black magic, as you call it, is magic, whether you use it for good or bad. Black magic would be used for control and evil purposes. White magic is the exact same intention and the exact same practice, but with different purposes in mind. It exists and it's very powerful, but also white magic exists and it can be countered. Oh, these long answers, these long answers drives me crazy. Um, let's see. Uh, Eva five sin. What invention would improve the world? No invention. An invention means the creation of something new. I think this is what you are saying. No invention will improve the world. But gratitude, empathy, and love will improve the world. And these don't need to be invented. Um, okay, our tracker. If you were a movie star, an author, mom, and playwright, ah, you were a movie star, an author, mom, and playwright, what are you most proud of and why? I am most proud of the family I had. That is what made me who I was. Everything else were like decorations, props, add-ons, and things like this. But it is the blood relation you have with someone. The feeling of blood relations that you have with others that creates the best experiences you could have on earth. Um, let's see. Um, <clears throat> Super Queen, why always evil wins over good? That's not true. Just like in white magic and black magic. One is not stronger than the other. They are almost complementary. The fault of humans is that they see the negative but are 
remiss to look and have gratitude for the good. This is a matter of collective consciousness. And those who engineered the human experience perhaps need to return and create more balance here. Um... Um, all right, Isabel, Isabel, you're so lovely, Carrie. My question for you is, what do you believe we as a people should be doing to contribute to lifting the human consciousness? I mentioned empathy, gratitude, and love. It is unconditional love that is what will truly change human consciousness. There's no doubt. You can ask any soul. They will say the same. Let's see. Um... Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Ritu asks, does mantra chanting create positive vibrations and does it help to expel black magic? Yes, very much so. But please let me remind you that if the body is weak, it will have greater difficulty in healing from black magic. It is very important for the body to remain healthy in terms both of energy and food and drink it has. The chanting you speak of act as vibrations you can say invocations, but it is the chanting that does create a higher vibration. There are many places you can find where there are lists of chants for every different type of reason and purpose. There are also many books that talk about mantras and chanting. It is the chanting that is stronger than praying, simply praying. And often the repetition is needed to reinforce your intentions. Oh. Thea, does death hurt? Yes and no, because it is only painful if your soul remains anchored on to the human experience. Then it is painful because your soul becomes earthbound and does not know it has passed. That is the pain I think you are asking about. Let's see. Um, um. Okay, are you disappointed your fans never saw Leia, Luke, and Han reunited on the screen? Yes, I am, because there is sentimentality that is 
part of my nature and other stars who have had a certain experience with their fans. And as I said before, the most important experience for me on earth was with my family. And this means not only my personal family, but my work family, my friends as a family too. And it is in my nature to bring people together and not divide them. Let's say, um, uh, Marguerite Burke, can spiritual growth exhaust you? Yes, it can. Not completely exhaust, but create tired, a tired soul. After you do spiritual work and people work on you and work with your energy, you will feel tired that day. If someone clears you of negative energy, you will feel tired that day. Every time there is a change, movement, clearing of the soul, it is felt at a very deep level and can make you extremely tired. Yes. Um, Gour uh, Gourmet Kaur, 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 does making food offering offerings to those who have passed away or remembering them by keeping their photographs, does this make sense? Yes, it does. Remember, maybe you don't know, but in countries of Hispanic origin and places like New Orleans, think of films, movies that you have seen, you will see that there's always an altar, there is an offering of food and similar things. It is believed that this is a way of in, ingratiating their benevolence. Yes, it is a common practice, but it is not the only practice. And yes, it makes sense. It is also a cultural practice. Okay, I'm going to take one last question. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> One last question. <clears throat> Can we chant Kali B mantra during five days of menses? Why women are not allowed to chant Gayatri, Gayatri mantra? I think this is linked to a certain culture, um, super queen. Let's see. Yes, you are talking about a certain culture. And yes, it is positive to recite that mantra. However, for people who are not of the same culture, please remember it will not have the same significance. This is why I say spiritual practice is a very culture-bound practice. And the most important thing in order to make things work is to believe in them and profoundly 
believe in your intentions and the purposes you have these intentions. An example is if I had gone to Nepal, for example, and tried to use their chants. It would only work if I had been schooled with certain groups and they had taught me these chants and mantras. But if I were to buy a book about this and not understand the spirit of these chants, like I said before, there are many books, but also the culture surrounding these practices are to be revered and respected. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here with me. And I'll be back next Sunday. I'll be back next Sunday with, I can't remember who. <laughs> I think it's the couple. I think it's, um, um, let me check, let me check, let me check. I'll check right now. Ed and his wife. Let me see. Okay, I'll try to, there too, I will always try to get as many questions out as I can. It will be with uh, Ed and Lorraine Warren. Uh, they have a very interesting, fascinating story, this couple. And here too, this was um, a suggestion in my community section um, from one of the subscribers. Um, thank you, everyone. And it's it's quite interesting uh, for me to to learn about these because of course we don't have all the same culture but it would be interesting next week sunday same time same channel and um, namaste do have a nice week and i hope you have an enjoyable week more than that a nice meaning enjoy a full of pleasure bye bye ladies and gentlemen i'll be back